Welcome back to Standard Graphics. My name is Brad Z, and today we have an unboxing video. Okay, before we get into this, um, the funny thing is I bought Accurip seven years ago, and I thought I bought Accurip seven years ago. I gave Freehand Graphics uh, $550 for the program, and it worked. Everything works good. Uh, a couple weeks ago, my computer went down, so I had to reformat it and I tried to put Accurip back in and what Accurip has done, all the old users of Accurip are being forced to upgrade. Even if you don't upgrade your operating system or any of your hardware or software, it's a mandatory upgrade and it's going to cost you $250 and I don't agree with that. I purchased something, I think I should own it. Um, they're a greasy company. So I looked elsewhere and what I found was what's in this box. So let's get right into it. This is what I purchased. Filmmaker version 4. Uh, precision film separation software by Cadling Technologies. Let's see if you can get that right there. Bam. So Cadlink, I think it's a Canadian company. Um, I spoke to head office. It is in Ottawa, Ontario. And this is what I liked. That I own it. It's right here. When I pur purchased Accurip, I got a activation key and a download. And they were able to, with updates, um, cancel my activation key. Uh, they went about it in a very rude way, they called me names. Uh, like I said, greasy company, no more money for them. These guys get my money. So what's in the box? What's in the box? We have my invoice for $500. Like that, CD, paperwork. Uh, there should be a dongle in here. There it is right here. So this is the important part of this whole software. Uh, the software, you can download a trial for 14 days, fully working tri trial, see how it is. Um, I can install this on any computer, anywhere, um, no problem. I can't use the software until I put this in the machine. So essentially this is a $500 USB dongle. Um, wherever I put this in, I have three computer systems in my shop. Um, I'm going to install it on all three and wherever I put this I'll be able to output separations from so that's what I like I have this as long as I don't lose this I'm golden for as many years as I want and this is compatible with uh, Windows 7 Vista 8 10 and XP so there you go quick start manual and I believe right here Cadlink tech assist program it gives you 180 days no, sorry, it gives you 90 days and they can like remote access your computer if you're having any troubles. Um, so yeah, let's put this in the computer and take a look and see how she goes. Okay, so before we jump onto the computer, um, I've installed the software, the Filmmaker version 4. Uh, it took about, I don't know, about five minutes to install. It's super simple. Um, basically, make sure your printer's on, um, install the software, put the USB dongle in first, install the software, just like installing any other software. And then uh, what you're prompted with is a, um, if you're familiar with Acura, the droplet test. So that's what this is. Uh, they make you print out this. Uh, you have two options. There's a light option and a dense art option. Don't even bother with the light option. None of it is good enough for screen printing for exposing screens So this is the dense one and basically you pick a number and uh, What I came with is I'm gonna start with number 26 Right here seems to be dark enough there. You can just kind of see through some of those So yeah, I picked number 26 for my initial setup and uh, looks all good. And then as soon as I had it set up, I just wanted to test something that I printed out previously on Accurip. So um, actually, yeah, here. So this one I printed out with Filmmaker version four. And let me grab the other one. And this is the one that I printed out with Accurip 
a couple weeks ago. They're exactly the same. So yeah, she works. Let's jump on the computer and I'll show you how it works. Testing, testing. Okay, before we look at the software, let's just jump on the CadLink site here. And if you go to products, Filmmaker, this is the Filmmaker version 4 landing page. Here is the free download. Here's the buy now. They have a product brochure and a few videos that are not great, but you might as well watch them. And the contact info, you can pause the video here. Here's the Canadian, US, um, and other countries. All right, so when you install the program, as you can see in my devices, here's my regular Epson Artisan 1430 series right here. And what it does is it installs another driver and you can name this whatever you want in the installation. This is the default. Um, if you're familiar with Accurip, you can rename this to Epson Artisan to Filmmaker, just like Accurip was Epson Artisan to Accurip. So you can do that if you want. I just left it at the default. When you open up the program, or when you install the program, you are going to be looking at a page exactly like this as soon as you're done installing and this is that ink density chart that I was talking about um, when it pops up don't waste your ink don't go with the low density chart just go straight to the high density chart take a look at the printout and determine the number you want to put it in here um, like I said I ran 26 I'm just gonna leave it like that right now I'm gonna try dropping it to say 24 and you hit done if you ever need to get back to that um, it's right here ink density chart. So this is the program and this is what you're looking at. There's a number of ways to print to this program. Um, you can save out of Illustrator into hot folders and then things will pop up automatically in here. Most people aren't going to do that so we're just going to close the program and open Illustrator. Um, okay, let me just reopen this. So here's a sample file I just made. It's on a 13 by 19 sheet. Everything is spot colors. Um, right here, spot black. Uh, I didn't name it spot black. It's just new color swatch one, but it is spot black. So most people are familiar with Acura. What you're going to do is go to file, print, and in your printer, I have it set to the default as Epson Artisan 1430 separations. Um, as you can see, here's my regular Epson Artisan, a uh, couple other printers, my cutter, but that's what you want. You want the Epson Artisan 1430 separations or whatever you name that print driver. Um, always a good idea to check out your output here, and I do have it set on separations, and it should stay that way um, as long as you don't mess with anything. Um, and then in here, I just have the one spot color, and that's the only one I have highlighted. So then you just hit print, it will automatically launch Filmmaker right here. So these are the extra steps. You have to click on Filmmaker and there it is. Here's a, a rough preview. It, it doesn't look great, but at least it's a preview of what is on your page. Um, you know, there's your page, more pages down here. So if you already know what you're doing, everything's good. You can just click on here, right click and hit print and it will send it directly to your printer and you are done. Um, I just want to show you a couple other features or one actually that if you go in here and you right click and you go rip only basically that's what it's doing it just rips it but it doesn't send it to the printer so it's ripped and it's sitting there spooled. Um, if you right click again and hit view raw data it will punch out and then I always hit you as black because we're just using black ink. This is exactly what's going to happen um, when you hit print. This is your film. That's what your film's going to look like. And if you zoom in, you can see there's my half tones. And you can get right in here. It's kind of ridiculous, but you can. Um, I like this option. You get to see what your film is going to look like before.
So there should be no wasting films. Everything's right there. Then you can just close that out. And you can hit print here. You can right click here and hit print here. Or you can go to jobs and hit print. And it'll print out whatever jobs you have selected. So right now, like I just have the one job in here. But like I said, if you're using those hot folders or you can dump a whole bunch of jobs in here and hit print and walk away. If you're on a, like a roll fed machine or something like that, or if you have the, um, the sheet fed, whatever it was called um, from Accurate that you can put lots of sheets in your printer. Um, so yeah, that's how simple it is. It's definitely worth a, worth a look. Download the trial, give it a try. And like I said, um, Accurate is a great program, but uh, as a company, I'll choose Filmmaker any day of the week. Thanks for watching guys.